Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about something that people ask about a lot, and that's moving clips up and down on the timeline. All right, as you get more advanced in video editing and you start to get a busier timeline, then cleaning that timeline up and moving things around uh, tends to be something that people struggle with. And there's a few gotchas when you do that in Premiere Pro that we're gonna uh, talk about. But I wanna show you all the tips on how you move stuff up and down and how you protect things. But you know what the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna duplicate the sequence I have. And you should always do this when you're about to dive into something you're not completely sure of. Why wreck the sequence you have? It takes a second, we'll rename it a version two. That way, if you make a complete mess, you still have the original. Let's do that. So here's my sequence. I'll right click and choose duplicate. There's no keyboard shortcut, but uh, you could make one for yourself. And I'll call this V2. I'll make sure I open that one and I'll make sure I close the other one. I have to admit that there was one time when I did duplicate a sequence and then I forgot and I was actually editing the old one. Oops, um, you could put that in an archive uh, folder. I know a lot of editors do that. They'll duplicate a sequence, but I only wanna have one main one. Now make a folder or a bin and throw that other one back in there. You always have it, it's always safe. All right, so let's look at my timeline here. I've got video, music, sound effects. I've got overlapping clips. And over here I've got dialogue, voiceover, that's linked to these clips here. So there's both an audio and a video clip and right clicked and they're linked. Unlink is now available. So I wanted to give you an example of a, a talking head kind of video interview or something where there's there's video and audio that are both linked together. This is one of the things that, that usually causes a problem as you're trying to move one and the other and you've got lots of issues. Okay, so when I click on each one of these, it selects both. When I click on this one, it's on its own, as is this one here. So the only ones I have linked are these right here. And here's a bunch of sound effects that I have, and you'll notice that many of them are overlapping. And that's because I want uh, my one scene to filter into another scene. So this sound here is now moving into that sound here. So I don't want to wreck anything, but maybe I wanna organize this a little bit better. For instance, I have these overlapping clips here over top of this clip right here. And if I turn the top one off, you'll see the bottom clip the whole way. But I don't really need to see that bottom clip when this clip is here. So your first thought might be that you could trim this clip and then bring that down. And I just dragged it with the mouse. But what happens, and in this case, it's a good thing, if I take these and select both of them, hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, and hit the down arrow, I'll move both of those down. If I move them back up, again, Alt, Option, Up, I've deleted what was underneath it. So in this example, it actually made more sense because when I bring it down, I now have an edit that makes sense. There's no need to overlap these. I don't have any compositing going on. And I, I don't care that I've deleted what was there. But sometimes this can really be a problem, especially if you're trying to move something over multiple tracks, you'll delete every single thing it touches if there's something on the track. So let's do that over here, not intentionally, but if I took this one and I'll move it up, it was in a blank track, that's okay. Move it to there and move it to there, and move it down. I've deleted the tail of both of those. So I'm gonna undo all of that and bring it down. So if you come from the world of a DAW, a digital audio workstation, a music file, this never happens. The top one always is the one that makes the sound. If you've got an audio clip over another audio clip, the top one makes the sound, but it never destroys the bottom one. Premiere Pro will just destroy everything as you move it. So 
How do we uh, fix that? Well, first of all, you can protect things. So over on the left, you could lock something. So if I did want this in this top track here, and I lock this track, by the way, I can't, I'm hitting option up and you see I get a warning media limit on audio three because audio three uh, it, audio three is what I have here. It's it's locked, but I could drag this over top of that and now it's in that area. Now it is going to delete that as in before, but you have that freedom to do it, to lock a track when you're moving things. Uh, here's an example of one where I wanted all these mountain shots and forest shots on V2, but I accidentally put that one there. So Alt Option up and there I go. It, I moved it, there, there was no conflict with another clip there. Now, if you did want to move the audio here, so I've got dialog on A3 and I've got dialog in A2. I want to consolidate all of these and I don't want to make it easy on myself. I want to move all of this audio down. Now, there are two ways to do this. If you select these linked clips, remember they're linked to the video, and hit the down, they'll all move. E even though those um, are selected, they didn't move. Why didn't they move? Because they're always on, already on the lowest track. Well, what happens if we move up now? Watch this, I'll move up. and the video clips move up at the same time. Maybe you wanted that. So it's almost like this rubber bandy kind of thing. So if you've got video and audio in there together and you move the audio down, the next time you move the audio up, it moves both up. And if you move the audio up and then the up, and then, and these can start getting further away and cause a lot of problems. My recommendation, unlink and move. How do you do that? Two ways to do that you can click on this button here, linked selection. If it's blue, they're linked. If it's gray, they're not. So now I can freely select these, Alt, Option, move them down. And you might be asking, what's all this Alt, Option, arrow up and down? Why don't I use the mouse? Because the mouse is not as accurate as up and down. Because sometimes when you're dragging down in a larger sequence, you might move it off and all you have to do is move it one frame out of sync and uh, you're in trouble. Now I've got a tutorial I'll link to at the end about getting back in sync if you have moved something out of sync. So when I turn that link off, I can now move that freely, but go back and turn it back on in case you need to click on these and move them. So that's the only gotcha about this unlink thing. When you turn unlink on off, now everything's unlinked and that's a recipe for disaster. So I prefer, let's go back and, and put these in the upper track here, turn link back on. I want all of these to always be linked. I'm gonna manually, temporarily turn link off by adding Alt or Option on, on the Mac when I select things. So let's just show you what happens. So when I click on the video, or the audio, I select both, but if I Alt Option click, then I don't select it. And I'm holding Shift and Alt or Shift and Option on the Mac. Now all of those are selected or holding Option or Alt and selecting and down. So I like this way because I temporarily unlocked it, moved it down, linking is still on, the rest of my timeline is safe and I'm not going to wreck things. I think that's that's very useful. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you about moving things around is you could cut and paste and not copy and paste. Copy makes a copy of it, cut actually removes it, puts it in memory, and then when you paste it in, it move, it's like moving it to a different location. So if I wanted uh, some of these clips to be in a different location, like let's say I want, these clips here, and I want them to actually be on V3, I cut them, and then I'll click on V3, and I'll turn off track targeting for any of the other ones, and I'll paste, and look what happened. V3 was the lowest track selected, so it actually added another track above. 
This is useful if you've got a really complex bunch of stuff that you want to move up and you're thinking about the link, unlink, arrow up, down, just move, you know what, just cut it and paste it. But use track targeting. The way track targeting works is because I had V3 selected and nothing else selected, it considers that the predominant track selected. So the stuff that's in the bottom is here. If you never have track targeting turned on, Premiere Pro will always assume V1 is the one and A1 if you're doing audio moving. So, and I could have done track targeting on the audio at the same time and cut and pasted it and it would have moved it to different tracks. So there's lots of power in, in doing that, including as I showed you, there was no V4. V4 didn't even exist, but because it needed a V4, it actually made V4. And if I wanted to, I could select these and move these down over there. So lots of, interesting ways to work with a more complicated timeline. Uh, it really is up to you uh, whether you want to use a linking or an unlinking or the mouse or move up and down. I mean, snapping is on. So uh, I'll show you that it's not that bad to move things around because there is that snapping going on. So let me unlink that, but I leave the snapping on. You'll see that I am snapping to those points. You can still have snap on and accidentally move something out of sync. That's all I'm going to tell you. So don't always count on snapping and mouse moving for accuracy. It can really uh, trip you up sometimes. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description and I'll put it on the end card uh, about getting things back in sync if you did accidentally move them. So there you go. There's a, a question I get a lot. How do you move stuff up and down on tracks? Uh, I wish Adobe allowed us to freely organize tracks. Wouldn't that be nice? Just take a whole track and move it. You can't. Uh, but until then, you know a lot of tips on how to make that work for you. Be careful when you have a clip over a clip, you're going to delete the media and you just, I mean, if you don't have an undo, you can always stretch it out. Again. All right. Hey, if you're new to video revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more? You can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop where you can donate once or monthly, any amount, and uh, there's a lot of free stuff there. There's a member section, and we love all of our wonderful donors. Folks, I love that you keep us going here on Video Reveal. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to show you all the things that are available for you to create a good and organized and tight timeline.